Yo, what is going on guys? D21 Deli here back again with another MLB The Show 21 video. And in this video, we're going to be going over the top five cards from the Team Infinity Season 3 program. Of course, guys, we do not know the stats for these cards. So I will be showing you every single card, every single diamond card. And of course, at the end, I'm going to be sharing with you guys and what are the top five cards in my opinion. Now, before we hop into the video, guys, like always, if you guys do end up enjoying this video, make sure you guys are smashing that like button. Don't forget to go subscribe if you guys are new to the channel, bro, and hit that notification bell to be notified on my upcoming videos. Guys, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts about not only this video and my thoughts about it, but also what are your thoughts about this whole season three program for Team Infinity. Do you guys think it's a dub or do you guys think it's an L? Let me know in the comment section below. But first things first, guys, we're going to go with the American League East, but we're not going to be doing all the whole timeline. We're just going to go straight to it. So when it comes to the American League East, Team Infinity Season 3 Diamond Cards. In the choice pack, we have Cendric Mullins, we have Rafael Devers, we have Aaron Judge, Teoscar Hernandez, and Mike Suzino. So Cedric Mullins is stats, 121 contact versus right, 113 contact versus left, 99 power versus right, 88 power versus left with 96 vision, 77 fielding, 84 speed, can play the outfield. Um, honestly guys, pretty good card, not gonna lie to you, decent speed. I would have liked to have a little bit better fielding for this card just because, you know, if you're gonna put him in the outfield, especially on center field, you guys are gonna want some pretty good fielding back there, but hitting stats are actually pretty good. Pretty good diamond card, to say the least. Then we got Rafael Devers, 98 overall diamond, can play third and first, 112 contact versus right, 89 contact versus left, 125 power versus right, with 78 power versus left, and 83 vision, 75 fielding, 63 speed. So fielding and speed is not there. This card is gonna be pretty deadly against right-handed pitching, a guy that can go off the bench, a lefty stick. I, I don't see why not, bro. Honestly, Rafael Devers has a pretty cheesy batting stance as well, at least from what I've used in BR, it's pretty good. So Rafael Devers, pretty decent diamond card as well. Then we got Aaron Judge, 89 contact versus right, 113 power, contact versus left my bad 103 power versus right 124 power versus left with 70 vision so obviously guys the vision isn't there but this guy will smash left-handed pitching without a doubt 99 fielding 99 accuracy 60 speed but 90 arms so this guy absolutely disgusting defensively can also smack left-handed pitching great stick to have off the bench as well against left-handed pitching Aaron Judge the only problem I have with Aaron Judge has always been his strike zone his strike zone is just so high because he's tall if it was up to me I really don't like high strike zones that's just my preference but if you guys are into that stuff and it doesn't really bother you go for it next is Teoscar Hernandez 97 overall diamond 102 contact versus right 120 contact versus left 79 power versus right with set with 125 power versus left 81 vision 71 fielding 81 speed can play the whole outfield so again another card that can smash left-handed pitching Teoscar Hernandez has a very very cheesy batting sense as well this guy's absolutely going to destroy the baseball pretty good diamond card to have as well then we got this Mike Suzino card 96 overall diamond 45 contact versus right terrible <laughs> for to say the least 48 vision terrible as well but he can smash basically right-handed pitching and left-handed pitching when it comes to his power and he has that 118 contact versus left 86 fielding so he's a pretty good catching you know defender i guess you can say but other than that he is not that much of a good card to have especially against right-handed pitching but i mean that's my opinion on legend it's not gonna get it done maybe on hall of fame all-star this guy might be a beast jose ramirez carlos rodon or rodon salvador perez nelson cruz gregory soto so we have jose ramirez 80 contact versus right 103 contact versus left 125 power versus right with 73 power versus left 108 vision 75 fielding 68 speed can play basically almost everything besides catch. <laughs> so he can play first, third, shortstop, second, left field. Um, pretty good, versatile, utility, bat, and utility player to have in general. So Jose Ramirez always has been very good on MLB The Show. Never really had a bad card. Carlos Rodon, 112 hits per nine, 101 case per nine. He's got that 81 velocity, which is not that impressive with 96 break. He has a fastball slider, a changeup, a curve on a two seamer. So nothing out of this world. We got Salvador Perez, 97 overall diamond, 93 contact versus right, 125 contact versus left, 90 power versus right, 125 power versus left, 82 vision, 80 fielding, terrible speed, can play first base as well. So Salvador Perez, as you guys already know, very cheesy hitter to have as well as a catcher, very good card, can smash left-handed pitching. Nelson Cruz, right fielder. 
terrible fielding. If you guys have this guy as your right fielder, I feel bad for you guys. But he could basically hit off the bench for sure with that 95 vision. But he has 89 contact versus right, one max style contact versus left, 121 power versus right with 114 power versus left, 95 vision, like I said very good hitter to have but i don't really like his batting stance this year it kind of throws me off so on legend i probably won't be able to use this card because it's just gonna throw me off then we got gregory soto 123 hits per nine 113 case per nine 90 92 home runs per nine 112 pitch control and he's got 99 velocity and he's got 94 break so pretty sick stuff here he has a sinker a slider a fastball and a change up so this card kind of reminds me of like an Amir Garrett in a way, a pretty OP Amir Garrett. So hopefully he plays like that, hopefully he plays good. Um, it's going to be interesting using this card, I'm going to be honest with you, because now that Chapman went a little lower, you know, that 108, 106 hits per nine is not going to get it done that much. But Gregory Soto with the same pitch repertoire as Chapman basically can make some damage, especially with that 123 hits per nine. Now we're going to go to the American League West. American League West guys, Matt Olsen, Adolis Garcia, Jared Walsh, Michael Brantley, and Yusei Kikuchi. I think that's how you say it. But Matt Olsen, of course, very cheesy as well. 98 overall. First baseman can, can also play right field. 91 contact versus right. 96 contact versus left. 104 power versus right. 114 power versus left. 91 vision with 90 fielding. Tremendous fielder. Terrible speed. Pretty decent diamond card to have. Adolis Garcia, 100 contact versus right, 90 contact versus left, 120 power versus right, 113 power versus left, and 68 vision. Pretty decent fielding, but it's not going to get the job done, especially over there at center field, because then you're going to have to use his, his secondary, and it's just not going to be as good anymore. 86 speed, so I guess that makes up a little bit, but terrible fielder, to say the least, but a very good hitter as well. Then we got Jared Walsh, 125 contact versus right, 52 power, contact versus left, Jesus Christ, I cannot read today, 120 power versus right with 97 power versus left, 72 vision, eh, kind of a weaker card, I'm gonna be honest, I'm looking at it right now, but he could be a reliever, as you guys can see here as a secondary, so he could throw, and he could play the outfield as well, but kind of a weak card, not gonna lie. Michael Brantley, 125 contact versus right, 106 contact versus left, 83 power versus right with 70 power versus left, 124 vision, very good fielding as well at 83, gold, um, gold defense, and can play the whole outfield. Pretty weak card as well just because of the power, the power is just not there, and he has low speed, so he's not going to really catch up to balls and stuff like that in the gap, so kind of a weak card as well, Michael Brantley. You say Kikuchi, I think that's how you say it, but I feel like I'm saying it so wrong, but maybe I'm saying it right. 109 stamina, 107 hits per nine. 83 case per nine, 71 home runs per nine, which is not good whatsoever. 98 break, 81 velocity. He has a cutter, a fastball, slider, and a changeup. I do not know why they gave us this card, but you know what? It is what it is. They gave us this 96 diamond, but I think this is probably one of the worst ones that I've seen. Now, guys, let's go to the National League East. Jacob DeGrum, the GOAT, 99 overall diamond, 119 hits per nine, 108 stamina, 115 case per nine. 97 break, 99 home runs per nine, 99 velocity, 99 break. This this is this is nasty. This is nasty. Fastball, slider, changeup, curveball, and two seamer. This dude is disgusting. This guy's a must-have for sure. Then we got Trey Turner, shortstop, 110 contact versus right, 125 contact versus left, 99 power versus right, with 85 power versus left with 96 vision terrible fielding at 72 but he's got that 99 speed that 92 that 92 steel can also play second base third and outfield so i mean pretty good card to have as well pretty good diamond card is he all that no but trey turner is cheesy and they actually gave him some pretty good power stats this time around so he's gonna be, be a pretty good card to use and his pci is gonna be very big just because of that contact so pretty interesting card here if you guys get him by all means, but he's not that bad of a card. I'm not gonna lie to you. He's not that good, but he's not that bad either. Ozzy Albies, 79 contact versus right, 125 contact versus left, 86 power versus right, and 120 power versus left with 100 vision, 82 fielding, 73 speed. It can also play shortstop. This dude, pretty nasty, switch hitting, second baseman, pretty good card. If you guys are in need of a second baseman, this guy would be very good. Trey Turner will also be very good as well, but for some reason, if you guys still don't have Jackie Robinson, I recommend you guys get this card. JT Real Munto, um, nobody really uses JT Real Munto's cards. I don't really face him like that, but I'm just going to go over the stats. He can also play first base, by the way, but 
contact versus right 100 86 contact versus left 101 power versus right 70 power versus left 85 vision not a good card, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. I think my Piazza is a little bit better than him. Salvador Perez's card is better than him. Um, that new Kyle Schwarber player of the month card is better than him. Just overall, there's better catchers than this card. Then we got Trevor Rogers, Left-handed pitcher. Can throw fastball, changeup, slider, and two-seamer. Uh, 103 stamina, 107 hits per nine, 94 case per nine. 99 home runs per nine, 83 velocity, 99 break. So nothing out of this world. He only has four pitches, and this is the most common pitches ever. So this guy and Takuchi or Kikuchi, whatever you want to say from the Mariners, those two are the worst pitchers in the in in this team affinity. It's just two worst diamonds in general in, in this season three team affinities. So now we're gonna cover the National League Central. Here we got Craig Krimbro, Josh Hader, Nicholas Castellanos, Alex Reyes, Adam Frazier. So with Quick Rim, bro, you guys already know we're only going to get three pitches. See, you, you see what I mean? <laughs> I already kind of knew we were only going to get three pitches. So 125 hits per nine, 125 Ks per nine, 99 home runs per nine, 94 velocity, 99 break, fastball, a knuckle curve, and a two-zimber. That's basically it. Uh, his per nine is there. His break is there. I don't know if, if gameplay-wise he's going to be there because Quick Rim, bro, nobody really uses him because of his, you know, his pitches. He just doesn't have anything out of this world. But if you guys want to use him, go for it. Then we got this Josh Hader, 97 overall diamond, 125 hits per nine, 125 case per nine, 99 home runs per nine, 82 velocity, and 99 break, fastball slider, change up to seamer. So it's basically an OP version of the card that we already got now. That's Josh Hader. So if you guys wanna replace him for, you know, the one you guys have now, do it. I really recommend it. That hits per nine does matter, and it's just overall, it will matter. Now we got Nicholas Castellanos, 98 overall diamond. I've heard a lot of people talking about this card. 125 contact versus right, 124 contact versus left, 99 power versus right, 111 power versus left, damn, and 91 vision. This guy rakes, I can tell you that right now. This guy will rake. Right fielder, can also play first, third, and left. Eh, his fielding is not there and his speed is not there, but his hitting is, and this guy is going to rake. Then we got this Alex Reyes off the bullpen. Can throw a fastball sinker, a slider, a 12-6 curve, and a changeup. 125 hits per nine, 115 case per nine, 99 home runs per nine, 99 velocity, and 99 break. Very good card from the looks of the stats. It's nasty. And he can dot up um, as a reliever. He's going to be a closer. So, you know, I believe last year when he when he had a future star or he had he has something like that. And he was a starter. So now he's a reliever and he's going to... He's going to shove just because I can see from his stats right now. He's going to be very cheesy, especially the fact that he also has a sinker and he also has a fastball that can be thrown very hard and is maxed out. Does he have outlier? He has outlier too, so his sinker is going to be pretty cheesy. But other than that, very good reliever to have for sure. Then we got this second baseman, Adam Frazier. Looking at the stats right now, it doesn't look that good, but we're going to go over it. 125 contact versus right, 111 contact versus left, 54 power versus right, 82 power versus left with 119 vision. So, damn, he has very good contact, at least. 93 fielding, so he's not going to make errors, I would hope. And he can play almost everything besides catcher. So, you know, pretty nasty card, I guess, when it comes to contact and when it comes to fielding. But other than that, if you guys are looking for a power stick, it's just not it for, for, for me. Or I don't think it's going to be it for you guys either. Then we got the NL West, which is our last division. Which is our last division. We got Kevin Galsman, Jake Cronenworth, or Cronenworth. We got Eduardo Escobar. We got Chris Taylor. We got German Marquez. So let's go over Kevin real quick. We got 111 stamina, 114 hits per nine, 96 home runs per nine, 81 velocity, 93 break, fastball splitter, slider, changeup, and curve. So he doesn't have a sinker, but he has pretty good pitches to say the least. But he does not throw that hard so that for that fastball to be very effective. So I would think it's a decent card, but not all that. Just because of its hits per nine, it makes up for it a little bit. But just his pitches in general, not that good. Then we got Drake. Over here with 106 contact versus right, 100 contact versus left, 97 power versus right, 76 power versus left with 110 vision, 85 fielding, 83 speed. And he can also relieve as well, first baseman, third base, and shortstop. But his primary is second base, 98 overall diamond. So pretty decent card. From the stats, it looks nice. It looks like a very good card. He's a left-handed second baseman, basically. Um, he doesn't feel left-handed, obviously, but he hits from the left-hand side. 
pretty nasty diamond card here. Is he top three, top five? I guess we're going to have to find out at the end of the video. Eduardo Escobar can play basically everything as you guys can see here. 88 contact versus right, 91 contact versus left, 108 power versus right, 111 power versus left, 91 vision, 79 fielding. Speed is not really that, that good and the fielding is not really there, but pretty good hitting stats. He's also a switch hitter. Now we got Chris Taylor from the Dodgers, 97 overall diamond. Like, of course, guys, of course, this guy can play almost everything. 90 contact versus right, 118 contact versus left, 86 power versus right, 100 power versus left, 79 vision, 87 fielding, 78 speed. Can basically play everything. Pretty decent card. Um, is he adding anything out of this world? Not really. I don't think he really is, but he is a pretty good diamond card, I guess you can say. But is he top five? Not really. I'm going to let you guys know right now. Marquez, last diamond from season three Team Infinity program. 106 stamina, 109 hits per nine, 92 break. Fastball, slider, knuckle curve, sinker, and changeup. Basically, a pretty good diamond card for a 96 overall. If you guys are missing pitching, I guess you guys can go with German, but nothing out of this world. But that 109 hits per nine is pretty decent. But it's just that control that's kind of like shaky for me. All right, guys, so for a top five, I will probably go Gregory Soto. Um, pretty decent card as well, especially with Chapman going down now. I think Gregory Soto is at that number five spot. Number four will probably be Trey Turner, just because of the fact that, you know, it's always good to have a very cheesy player. Trey Turner now has a little bit more pop than usual. So Trey Turner will be number four. Um, number three and two will probably be Nicholas Castellanos and um, Alex Reyes. So I'll put Alex Reyes number three, Nicholas Castellanos number two. And then, of course, guys, number one, I will go Jacob DeGrom. Not being because I'm a Mets fan, but just look at these stats, bro. These stats are absolutely disgusting. And I'm just thinking about getting them parallel. If I can get them to a parallel four or five, this card is going to be absolutely disgusting, let me tell you. That's going to be it for the video, guys. Basically, um, what are your thoughts about Season 3 Team Infinities, guys? Like I said, let me know in the comment section below. I hope you guys did end up enjoying this video. I hope this video did help you guys out more or less. You know, see all the stats for all the Diamond players. Make sure to like the video if you guys did end up enjoying it. Don't forget to go subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.